Welcome, welcome to this episode of Beer and Booze with B-Rad. I'm your host, B-Rad. And let's start the show. Right? If you're going to drink, don't drive. If you're going to drive, don't drink. So, something near and dear to my heart. 22 veterans died daily to PTSD suicide. So if you have to know a veteran, anyone suffering from PTSD, reach out to those individuals. Sometimes listen to them, show them that you care. could possibly save their life. All right. Now, TikTok disabled the sound on one of my videos for this brewery, but I happened to take back some beer. And I believe these were two of the beers that I had in the video and stuff. So I thought I would do one at a time and stuff. And let's get going. This is uh, Dead Amarillo out of Tulsa, Oklahoma. Uh, a great little brewery. Um, nice inside. It has a patio. And uh, dude, they have they have good beer, man. They have absolutely good beer. So the first on my list is this Tulsa Black Blonde Ale, man. I uh, I, d I dig the logo, man. It's simple, it's plain, but it's cool. Um, Dan M. Earl Craft Brewing. Uh, oh, let's see if they have any information. Oh, they do have some information. An ale for all occasions. This beer is brewed to promote the. Tulsa Flag Project and innovating to create a uh, crowdsourced public domain logo for the city of Tulsa. In the spirit of the Tulsa Flag, we've made our recipe public at uh, darbury.com so you can brew it at home. Great ideas, great beers, uh, and better when you share. Raise the flag, raise the dead, dead Amarillo. Okay, so that's that's a pretty cool story behind this, okay? So go to that, uh, whatever I just said, um, Dab Brewery, D A B R E, dabbrewery.com. I just, I can't read. All right. So uh, I do know that this is a, this is a pretty decent beer. And I could see why they put this recipe on for everyone to uh, to enjoy, you know. And uh, it's got a fantastic head. It looks just crystal clear as far as I'm concerned. It's got a nice malty aroma to it as a blonde ale should have. Let's go ahead and give her a sip. It's got the, it's got the very malty hoppy notes in the back end, but it's nice, clean, crisp. I feel not disappointed. Still, if you're a fucking hop lover, it's still gonna have that in the back end. Great flavor, great taste. I can see that's why these guys, the Dan Amarillo and Tulsa, Oklahoma, have this up on the website for you to brew for all the home brewers out there. So. I'm going to give that a uh, very good, very good beer, man. Um, I'm going to give it a 7.9. 7.9 out of 10. That's how I'm doing my ratings nowadays. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, Stony Vineyards, always. And, of course, to my Marine Corps family, I almost forgot. Super fun, motherfuckers.